Hello, Libra. And welcome to your mid-January to February reading for this current year. Yay. Libra and cross watchers, this is for the sign of Libra and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So please check your charts. This resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Just boop your nose and away it goes. There's no point in worrying something ain't about you and ain't none of your damn business. Right? Right. Libra. <laughs> Yours is quite interesting, I must say. And I say that because, you know, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know. My father's a Libra. My mother's a Virgo. So. I can only imagine my upbringing, right? But the one thing I know, Libra, is that you are very, very interesting creatures. You also have the ability to say the exact opposite of somebody else the entire time you speak with them. And it's in, in, especially if you don't like that person, I've noticed, too. You guys will do that a lot if you don't like a person. It's just like, okay. So let's see. However, this one is very interesting with you. We have the Nine of Wands right here, which is the best defense is a good offense. If you have to throw a stick in someone's face and break their jaw, so damn be it. You're not getting heartbroken. End the story. Right? That's your energy at this point, or whoever this is energy, Libra and Cross Watcher alike. However, this situation, we've got a King of Pentacles. Not much of a rider. Probably don't give a shit about nothing. Well, shit like earth signs just don't care i don't know um he doesn't seem like he's very invested in being a provider at all and he doesn't seem very invested in like focusing where his rainwater goes because it's gonna go everywhere like back to the sky where it belongs they're kind of like being the hangman right now wasting time probably looking like a martyr mind you the king of swords and the page of swords is right here libra that could easily be you and you're probably looking at this person like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Like, what are you doing? But at the same time, this is an obstacle and challenge. Like, is you know, to observe, I feel. Now, up here, in the Wands and Witches, um, Three of Cups that led to a breakup, right? In order to establish a happy ending. Or a happily ever after. Here's the thing, though. In this particular deck, my Starman deck, this is my friendly neighborhood witch bitches and they're all together conjuring up like gossip and shit and naughty things and black magic but it's reversed right here so it's like they conjured all this shit up but now they're like going at each other and it's all coming out back as backlash it's almost like you or your cross watcher libra are looking for these people to get their just dessert so everything in the universe is balanced once again and everybody gets their happily ever after but that involves you spying on this king of pentacles reverse over here who you think is wasting time and isn't worth a shit i believe i don't know i think that way about you which you know that like fuck them too but whatever fuck you yes fuck you very much you know it's kind of like what what's the point what what is the point but that's the obstacle and challenge is actually, I think, investigating them or something. Because they caught your attention for some reason. Who fucking knows why? Who knows why? But the potential is there, right? Um, fears and rejections is the Seven of Wands reverse. Not really being on your tiptoes and being on your guard and stuff. When it comes to somebody delivering some love, could be a water sign, right? Also, Gemini and Aquarius is here, Pisces, uh, Aries. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Here we have the Eight of Wands and how the shit starts, how it'll end with the full reverse. Like, nothing's happening because nobody's doing the leap of faith thingy, my bobber. Nobody's taking a chance. Nobody's taking that breath to make a clean slate. Like, some of the things they won't be capable with the with sending some love your beginning theme that was the six of cups reverse it's like this person from the past just slowly in the future now you're kind of reaching out to them maybe they figure something out who knows anyway that's just what i get for you but i feel like this i feel like there's a slight setup here libra and i'm not sure why and i'm not sure where it came from but whatever right right so Ew, I almost missed that one. Alright, best offense is a good offense. When it comes to Libra, heart getting broken with somebody from back in the day, Libra and Crosswatcher, whoever this querent is. 
They're, they're, they're kind of like on the attack with heartbreak in order to avoid breaking somebody else's heart. That's, that's kind of what it feels like. It's like someone's using a heartbreak as a planned attack, I guess. I don't know, like almost just to hurt somebody. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Let's see. Let's keep shuffling for a second. Like, a card popped up, but I don't think it was the right one because I wasn't paying attention. So, we'll just shuffle some more and see if the right one comes out. What else comes with this person using heartbreak as an offense? They want to let their guard down? Or maybe they need to separate from something in order to, um... Let their guard down or whatever? Hmm. King of Pentacles reverse with this hanged man reverse. He's kind of lazy, possibly a liar, and he's kind of a waste of time, but that's all he's doing is wasting time. Acting like a martyr, it seems like. That's the situation. Um, seems like he's waiting on something fruitful. But I ain't got mu not much to say that's worth a damn. He's very hesitant, too. Maybe talk shit about the past or something. I don't know, but it's kind of like... If he goes to the past, it's like it would almost nettle him. So he's just focusing on the present right now. And over here, you're looking back at him like, what, if, what are you doing? I'm only one more on this one. Let's see. It's almost like they didn't want to argue. Or you didn't want to argue with them. One of the two. It's just like, nah. But I almost feel like this is this guy, where he's just like, you know what? I have nothing good to say about this, and going back to fight for this is not worth the shit. It's just gonna bring the worst out in me, I feel like, with this knight coming in all hostile and shit. Oops. Something jacked. Up here, with the, um... Damn it. Wants and wishes! Some neighborhood witch bitches getting their just desserts, bringing a happy ending. Someone went through a lot of shit inside in order to figure out where they can get that dog and stuff. But they kind of got to look over something and realize that something needed to be sacrificed, right? However, the obstacle and challenge with this King of Swords acting like a page. And, that, and that's the weird thing. It's like an immature thing, too. It's almost like someone like you or the person you're dealing with, Libra and Crosswatcher, might consider it immature. To look back, but that's the obstacle. Um, really no drive to do such a thing, to look back at this King of Pentacles reverse. This is someone from back in the day, for sure. And it's almost like you don't have any respect for them. But that almost feels like the wrong idea. You know? You don't have any passion towards the relationship. That's the obstacle and challenge. It's like... Looking back, why should I? I don't have any passion towards how we got along. Like, who cares how we got along? You know what? There was a Libra that taught me years ago. It doesn't how much matter how much you love a person. If you don't even respect them enough to tell them, you're done. You know, because you kind of do that person a favor by just taking off and leaving, you know. Like, what's the point of, like, even wondering about somebody um, who, who isn't even brave enough to use their mouth, I feel like, in this case? But it's like, I, I really feel like it's you, Libra, who's not trying to go back and initiate anything with this relationship, even though you care about each other. Or maybe you're trying to see if this person has any passions towards you, so you could be like, oh, well, they still want me, or I don't know, right? Up here, the Seven of Wands reverse. Someone has been not so on the mark with their actions. It's like they're kind of like losing the fight when it comes to their love. Because, you know, commitments and shit. It's just like, peace be with you, my brothers. You know, like he's sitting there teaching people how to do the peace symbol. Next, it's going to be like the gargoyle head and head banging and shit. Huh. To a Queen of Pentacles? Like... The king of Pentacles over here, so you might be the counterpart, right? 
Or maybe that's who he's actually committed to. Someone whose back's turned to all of this? Or is very focused on the commitment itself? No, is she like committed to God or something? Or is she just really religious? I don't know. Let's drop into the one. Because we like to be newsy in these spots. Mm. Won't make a choice. She likes the world that she has. She really wouldn't make a decision. So. I guess that's part of the fear. It's like she won't even acknowledge it, choosing anything else because she's too focused on what it is she believes or whatever, I guess. I don't know. Strange. Anyway. How this shit starts, how it will end. Not having any energy to change anything in order to take a leap of faith. Because someone feels abandoned as a child. What? When it comes to some sort of resurrection. Like they wanted to bring something back from the dead. Uh, okay, whatever, man. Anyway, how do, what's the ending theme? Ugh. Someone might be slightly addicted or obsessed with someone from back in the day, like they're a junkie for it. That's creepy. That is so fucking creepy. Anyway, I don't know why, but this is like kind of creeping me out a little bit. <clears throat> Libra, I don't know who it is you're dealing with, but I think they got a problem or an issue. Either they're on drugs, or they act like they're on drugs. One of the two. But they got their past in front of them, and it's just like, why are you going backwards for? Why do you want to look backwards? What's the point of looking backwards for? You can't go back, you know? Even if you did, what were you going to do with it? Not a damn thing. Anyway. At least I hope not, anyway. Let's see. The energy for y'all... Even though, like, there's separation, you, and but uh, but it's like the separation where something old like helps you open up a little bit, right? Realize you're kind of happy being single, or maybe that person is happy being single. Uh, it's young empress, after all. Ew! You guys get two more cards. Uh, she's happy being single even after the separation because it gave her a victory with someone else, or someone was living single. missed that person but then it was like oh well you actually like I was saying earlier you did me a favor like you got your victory but I also got mine too you just hand to hand it to me in a really fucked up way you know sometimes the universe gives you people who will fuck your day up only because it leads you to do something a little better you know alright king of pentacles down here in the situation He's not, he's steady, patient in his present. He's not dealing with the past. And if the past comes back, wow, he will talk some nonsense back to the past. You know. Hmm, Queen of Wands. Here's something very, very naughty. Something she doesn't like. Delivered by this little black kitty, right? Like, the little black kitty just comes in and has been like, they said you're a bitch. And all of a sudden, she's in fight mode. Because she's got the lions fighting on her throat. She's just ready to throw down. Like, I'll beat someone with my damn sunflower. I don't give a damn. Yeah. Um, but, I don't think she's going to. She's combative. For sure. Like, when she isn't falling for the temptation. Could be with the Capricorn. Hmm. Or she finds out, like, somebody got out of a situation that was nothing but temptations and lies. Something gets heard, and it helps release somebody from something or a, or a relationships of some sort. But it's gossip, too. Like, it's not even real, I don't think. But it doesn't matter because it helps. Alright. Wants and wishes. What was this right here again? Needing to come out of that terrible, terrible situation after sacrificing so much. Yeah. Okay, so secrets come out. Possibly Pisces involved. Someone comes looking for some information. 
right? Which is probably what you're doing anyway, but you're coming to look for the secrets, right? But all it's going to do is hurt. You have the Three of Swords again. Now they're falling on the heart after it's been bandaged up and shit. It's like someone wants to go looking for information that might hurt them. All over again. But it's going to be like more mental than anything. Yeah, I mean, it's going to hurt the heart too, but that's part of the mentality of it as well. But, you know. I don't know, Libra and Crosswatcher. Like, what are y'all doing? What is going on here? Maybe what the cat says is true. Maybe somebody, like, got separated from somebody who wasn't good for them, and that's what pissed her off. It's like, how did you get out of this bad situation? I didn't tell you to get out that you were allowed to leave the house or, or whatever weird shit people would say. Obstacles and challenges. Someone can't go back to their childhood. They're living a guilty conscience almost continuously like he could get a victory but it's like go, he won't let it go he, he, he won't let it go that, 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 literally he won't let it go he just keeps hugging it like it's a fucking pet when it's really a lion like mm. Libra like whoever you're dealing with they can't it's, it, it's almost like a person did you wrong Libra and then it's like they want to come back to check to see if the damage was done. And it's almost like they get mad when they find out, no, they're not even tethered to you anymore. And this might not be you, but it's like somebody here wants to, um, I don't know, just open their mouth and start shit. And it's like... They're only coming back because they know they can't. Things aren't the way they're going to be or how they used to be, and they can't let that shit go. It's like they're. I don't think they feel guilty as much as they feel like just mentally stuck because it won't release itself, or they won't release themselves, and then they come up looking for information only to be crushed about it. It's like they're they're so mad that you're not stuck to them anymore, Libra. That's silly. Fears and rejection. Yeah, this is not a good pairing. This person would just tear you down. Ruin your happy streak or whatever. Ooh, three cards. So you get four on that one. Fuck it. Yeah, like, they're all upset and then nettled and not happy. And they want to take your happiness down because they're all in their feelings about whatever bullshit it is. Oh, because they can't fucking leave anywhere. No one wants to take them. And now they feel like a jackass because whoever it is they left around before, most likely you, Libra, was the only person you probably cared about. But they gotta live with that shit now, so that's their fault. Anyway, last row. How this shit starts, how it'll end. Feeling abandoned like a child because something wasn't restarted again. Yeah, this was a setup. It, what? The setup. Are y'all dealing with a narcissist or something? Like someone, like, the, like, yeah, okay, that's what I said earlier, wasn't it? Like a heartbreak was planned or some shit? Yeah. Yeah, this is all planned out, and this person, I, Libra, if you let this motherfucker back in, they're just gonna come in and, like, disturb your peace all over again, and I know how you guys like to fucking nap, like, yeah, they, they can't let shit go, and they want something even though it's pretty much over and they need to relinquish some shit, you know, this, uh, this person, um, Libra, I feel like you're getting hoovered. And I feel like they plan to break your heart thinking that if they came back, almost like you would take them back or something. And then like they're surprised like, oh no, they don't. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe they hear something they don't like to hear and they don't think it's true with this black kitty since the Queen of Wands is reversed. Usually they say that the gossip's wrong, but maybe they just didn't believe that you had finally cut off that nasty connection with them once and for all. And that's what wants to spring them into action to coming to find you. Only to realize they need to let the shit go. 
So, that's what I got for you, Libra and Cross Watches alike. If you enjoyed this little read, please like, share, and subscribe. No pressure to do so, of course, but I'd greatly appreciate it, you know. Always. Anyway, I love you guys' faces, and I will see you later. Bye-byes.